There are so many NG workpieces. The inside was more out, so I extended it to a new corner, but looks like I messed up the calculations. With one touch production, there is no need to worry. This future was developed based on the feedback from our customer. Good morning, Tomemaru. Good morning, Kakeyama-san. There are so many NG workpieces. Uh, I made a mistake. What's happened? I saw the inside was more out, so I extended it for a new corner, but it seems I got the wrong offset value. Oh, I understood. Don't worry, it is not a problem. Sometimes it gets tricky when the tolerance is very tight. So, by the way, have you ever used the one-touch production feature? No, I haven't. This feature makes your work much easier for this kind of cases. So, let's learn together. Got it! Now we move to the machines. Get it. Okay, Tomemaru, when you change the inside this time, what specific steps did you take it? Well, I replaced the insert first, then applied a slightly larger offset and did a semi-finish. Okay, good. Do you understand why semi-finish is necessary? It's because using the exact target offset value could result in cutting 2D and producing defective workpieces. To ensure safety, we should apply an offset that is slightly larger than the target value and make a preliminary cut to see how much the result deviates from the target value. Mm, that's right, what a wonderful. You really understand it. So, what do you do after the semi-finish? After semi-finish, I measured the dimension of workpiece and adjusted the offset based on those measurements before moving on to the finished process. By using a large offset, the value with a new insert or corner, and make finishing based on the measurement result, you can avoid the defective parts. Tomemaru, you got it. Yeah, but looks like I messed up the calculations. I understood. From now on with one touch production, there is no need to worry. After changing an insert or a corner, there are a sum of the steps, like an input, bigger offset, semi-finish, measure, and then adding the new collection with an offset, and finishing the process. But with the one-touch production, the machine will automatically take care of these all the steps for you. I see. Now, let's see how it's done in the practice. First, we replace the corner, lose the screw, and then change the corner. After that, now we have a dedicated pages for the measurement. Okay, let's open them. So take a look here. It is mentioned a chip change. You just need to change to one here. You can see on the own is blinking. That's it. We just let machine know we have changed the corner. After that, you just need to place the cycle stuff. Machine automatically created in a semi-finishing process. Also, bigger offset. First, we do on a finish semi-finishing. And then, we do the measurement after the semi-finish. Then the machine is automatically calculated in a new offset number based on the measurement value. Then automatically input an array offset. And then makes finishing. So let's try to compare you know, how much difference in against in a target number. Our target is thirty five point six. Just in case, and I try to measure now how much is that? Thirty five point five nine eight. It's very close. Almost done. We get a very good number here. As you see that with this in a one touch production, 
you get the good parts from the first pieces. What we are doing is really simple. It's just like a what Tomimaru did it. Change the insert, into a little bigger way of set, then semi-finishing, and the major and the calculate the offset value again, then perform the finishing process. The machine is automatically doing this entire step for you. Doing everything with just one touch operation. It's so simple. That's right. Also, this feature is really excellent. It's not just useful after changing an insert or corner. Also, for the situation like a fast part after the long machine stop or when you stop the machine's production on the weekend, like a Saturday and Sunday, then start the production Monday. In these kind of cases, it allows for more stable product. It's making it possible to maintain the consistent process. Let me share a real customer story. This customer has many CNC machines, but didn't have enough operators. One operator had to manage 10 machines and focus on the quality control. The biggest problem was on a Monday morning. Since the machine and the factory air condition were off over the weekend, it took a long time to get an old 10 machines ready. The operator had to adjust each machine, the major, the parts, and make sure everything was good before starting production. Each machine took about 10 to 15 minutes to set up. So getting all 10 machines running took about more than two hours. But after adding one touch production, the operator just need to let machine know. Then now, instead of two hours, everything ready in just 15 minutes. And today we have used the machine with ATC tool spindle machine. But that kind of function you can use also for the turret machines as well. That's awesome! It means we can use it in all kinds of situations and still get stable production on any type of machine. Exactly! Actually, this feature was developed based on the feedback from our customers who are producing in a very precise workpiece. And then now, this function, One Touch Production Future, is patented by the Nakamura Tome. Amazing! So, Tomemaru, there are many other features that help with production. So, let's learn them together. That's all for today's introduction to One Touch Production. If you want to try this feature or feel it very helpful, please hit high rating and subscribe. See you, machinist! Bye! -bye. Bye.